coming up on this episode of the Spiro podcast. You know, let's think about the psychological psychological aspect of that. Well, one, we listen to our client. They came and they had a need and they said, can you make this easier for me? But the cool thing that they also did is they said, can you help me spend more money with you easier? Welcome to the Spiro podcast, managing your real estate photography and videography business with your hosts, Todd Kivimaki and Craig Magro. Hi, and welcome to the Spiro Podcast, managing your real estate, photography, and videography business. Spiro is a software solution and platform designed to help you manage and grow your real estate, media, and marketing business. I'm Craig Magrum, host of the Spiro Podcast, and along with me every week, our our co-host, our Spiro founder and owner, Todd Kivimaki. How's it going today, Todd? Oh, Craig, I'm doing great. It is great to be here. Excited about the topic that we have today. We've been doing some really cool things at WOW. Uh, that's our real estate media company, WOW Video Tours. And uh, I've just been excited about how we're strategically thinking and using some levers. Uh, we're going to go into one of those today. Uh, so I am excited to share this with our with our listeners. Uh, if you're just listening in for the first time, thank you for joining us. If you're coming back um, after being, uh, uh, you know, after listening for some time, thank you for spending time with us every week. We truly do appreciate it. I don't mm -hmm. know if we say it enough, but it is. It's so great to hear from you guys, to get messages, uh, for you guys to ask questions. We just love interacting with you, and yeah. uh, it's fun to see you guys grow. It's fun to see you guys solve and business to you know go through the roof so thank you thank you thank you for giving us uh your time which we know is extremely important for sure for sure so uh yeah we're going to talk a little bit about spiro about uh well we'll get into that uh but we want to mention uh the upcoming pmre conference as well todd yes pmre so if you are planning out what you're going to do for education this year we love the pmre conference you can find out more about it at pmreconference.com. Uh, the organizer, Brandon Cooper, we love him. He does a fabulous job. Great guy. He just guy. evolves this. Yeah, evolves this thing every year, does more. Uh, you can find out some of the speakers that they've announced. They're announcing more every week. So check out the website. Give it a thought if you're going to head out to Vegas this November to – invest in your education, invest in your business. Uh, if you want to buy a ticket and before you buy a ticket, email me. I have a discount code for you that will save you $50 off your ticket. Uh, so email me hello at Spiro.media and I will send that code directly to you. Um, check out the website. We've been there. I'll be there again this year. And uh, it's a, just a great time to get recharged, mm -hmm. uh, to learn to cut loose a little bit. I mean, you're in Vegas, <laughs> um, you know, and, and Vegas, you know, it has kind of something for everyone. So if you love good food, if you love the, you know, if you do the gambling thing, I, I don't because it's just like I'd rather burn my money and I'd have it probably more fun because I lose, I, you know. Anyways, I won't go there, but PMREconference.com. Right. I was going to say, yeah, my luck is such that I do, I, I win every time I don't gamble because I have the worst luck in the world. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I, I've been a, to casinos a few times and Nick last year. Uh, so Nick Kellis was with us and he was like, oh, we just got to do it. You know, we just got to, let's just put, you know, 20 <laughs> down. I'm like, okay, fine. 20 on red is like, okay, well, I just lost 20. It's like, oh, dude, probably, you know, it's 50 50. Okay, 20 on red again. Okay, I lost again. I'm like, okay, I'm out 40. I'm done. That was 40 yeah. bucks. I could have bought some good food. So. Right. <laughs> right. 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 All right. So moving on from that, that shows there's the Hoover Dam. You can check out, you know, sites, take your camera, go out into the into the desert, whatever it is you want to do. But uh, yeah, photo, PMRE stands for Photo and Media for Real Estate. And uh, just a great conference. So check it out. Check it out. Yeah, for sure. This podcast is sponsored by Spiro. Spiro is the software we have created with 20 years of experience in the real estate media industry to run our business. So this does everything from the order through the delivery. It manages all of our clients, all of our photographers in the field, all of our order pages, service areas, tasks, due dates, editors, you know, everyone around the world that puts 
and work to make sure that our 12,000 jobs a year go out and our clients are happy. If you're not in a software, you want to know why we and what we do differently, you can visit the website Spiro, S-P-I-R-O dot media. Fill out the form. You can book a session with me. Um, but if you're not utilizing software or if you think software can do more for you, check us out, Spiro dot media. Yeah. It's uh, very full featured, let's put it that way, and uh, serves both a small business and regional businesses equally as well. So yeah, it's awesome. All right, so let's dive into our topic this week, Todd. Um, you, you, t you actually just talked a little bit about it. Um, you mentioned ordering pages in your, mm -hmm. your system, and we wanna talk about uh, this week how to best leverage your order page. Um, best practices to get the most out of the ordering experience for your clients. Yes, for sure. So now this is this is any order page anywhere. So if you're taking orders on a napkin, you're going to learn something today about how you should structure and how you should communicate with a real estate agent. So let's let's talk about the three different types of categories of order pages that I like to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is just your your main or your default order page. Uh, now, this is the page that should be linked on your promotional website. So your site that advertises your services, uh, it should be linked everywhere that a visitor might go. So all on your social you should have your Google account all set up, Google My Business all set up so someone can click, you know, website and they go straight to it. Uh, but this is your services that you perform. Now, the first thing that we recommend is number one, that you should sell in bundles of items. Now, you're mm -hmm. going to have some a la carte. So it's very common that you sell a photography product. It's very common that you might sell a 3D tour. But I would highly suggest to you that you think about putting multiple items together and making it easy for a realtor to buy. So we have pod, we have multiple podcasts about that. Please go back and listen to that one about strategies on how to bundle. But I believe in it very strongly because it works for us. We sell more. Our average sale price goes up. Number two is on your order page for each service or bundle you sell, you need to have good descriptions. Mm -hmm. What is it that the realtor is buying? Again, remember we, a few podcasts ago, we talked about the features and benefits of your services. Features are facts. What is it? It's 40, it's 40 photos. What's a benefit? Well, it's enough photos to show all the features of a house so that a prospective buyer online knows what it's like to be inside the home. Okay, that's the benefit of having 40 photos. So you need to think marketing. You need to put on your marketing cap and you need to think about not what, not why you would buy, but what is it and why does your client buy? I think sometimes there's a big disconnect between those two is, you know what all these technical terms are, but Craig, do you think our realtors know what these technical terms are? No, it, you know, we, we have a couple of different drone pack packages. I was just thinking of this, you know, we have our bronze, our silver, our gold, and uh, that that's great. But if you don't have a detailed description of what is a gold drone, you know, gold package, it, it just leaves the, the realtor confused and, and frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. And then probably what they do is they order the least expensive one and they assume it's what they want. And then when mm -hmm. it's not what they want, they're not happy. And rightfully so, you confuse them. Yeah. So like say our silver package includes uh, our silver aerial package includes, you know, uh, five aerial photos and two to three aerial video clips in the description. Something I would do to help uh couch that in what what's the benefit of this one why would i have aerial video say perfect for waterfront properties you know that's that's the first thing i ask when somebody's asking about drone well is there a pond is there a pool is it on a river you know river and and i do that because sometimes they're saying yeah i think i just want some drone photos and well is it on water well yeah oh mm -hmm. well that's different let's talk about the silver package and explain the why so put that mm -hmm. in the description so that the realtor knows exactly the, the why of picking that package. Right, right. Good, great example, Craig. Uh, to go along with those great descriptions and the why, you should have some captivating media, you know, mm -hmm. for whatever they're ordering, what, what they're going to click on. You should have an image there that's beautiful 
Remember, you are you're a media company. You should have a captivating image right there that somebody looks at it and they go, I want that. Remember, mm -hmm. people buy based on emotion. And when they don't buy an emotion and they start to use logic, that's when they overthink it. And then that's generally when they go to like, oh, just give me the, the least expensive. So right. engage that emotion on them. Find, take the time to go through, get some opinions on your order page, show it to a couple people. Show it to realtors, show it to non-realtors. Do they know what you're even selling? Do they know what it will get them? Uh, that's, that's great feedback to have, but have ex amazing pictures on there. What, just pictures? Or is there some, yeah. uh, some other type of imaging we can put on there? Yeah, great question. So if you do have video examples, when somebody clicks to find out more information about what is in that bundle, you should play a video for them. If mm -hmm. they're ordering... Of photos, you know, you can make a captivating high energy video slideshow, but think all the other products that you sell that are not just photos and video, of course, you know, whether you're doing a reel, if it's vertical, if it's horizontal, if it's fast, slow, anything in between, if it has the agent on it, or if it doesn't have the agent in it, uh, you, you should so show examples of it. Uh, same thing with, right. with your virtual tours, your 3D tours, your Matterport, your iGuides, your Zillows. You should have a screen record of that tour happening. Put it in a video up there so people can play with it, with interact with it. The longer they watch that video and the more that you have with them to interact with, the better chance that you're going to sell them more. Right. And, and sell them what they need. And Exactly. Sell them what they need. Thank you, Craig. And then finally, my last tip here is if you are selling them bundles, advertise why, advertise the discount, advertise why it's smart for them to bundle. So if you have a beautiful image for your bundle that represents your luxury package, and if they get 10% off or if they're saving 50 or $100 because they bundled, just go into the beautiful image that you have and put down there that they, you know, savings of bundle and save, save $100, whatever you want the verbiage to be, make it your, make it your own, but mm -hmm. advertise that so that people go, oh, I don't want to not save a hundred dollars. You know, that, that goes back to the, you know, FOMO, which is the fear mm -hmm. of missing out, you know, Hey, do you want to miss out saving a hundred dollars and be able to market your property at a, you know, to differentiate yourself from the competition in your market so that you can get more listings? I mean, no, I don't want that. You know, I really don't want to save a hundred bucks. No, I really don't want to get a new, like, <laughs> so just some very simple things that you can do there. Um, to uh, just captivate the buyer when they get to your default order page. Right. What, one other thing, what about, what about um, in the sales process in suggesting additional products? What about a pop-up? Yes, definitely. Uh, I, we use them at wow all the time. You should pop something up in front of them again. Year, use FOMO, uh, special savings, save 10%, put something in front of them. Uh, maybe it's a new product that you have, but mm -hmm. as they get through the ordering process, you know, they're going to select their, their, their bundle, and then mm -hmm. they're going to go through and they're going to give you some property information or whatever information you're collecting. At some point after they've picked the bundle, you should pop up something in front of them that says special offer. Do you want to add, you know, a twilight image, save $20, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, but you, you right. have to, you have to just put it in front of them and it's, it's crazy. It seems so simple, but it works. It does. And, and it makes other services that you have um, visible to them. I, I, I don't know how many customers that, that we have, clients that we have that, you know, we've been working with them maybe, you know, say six months, a year. And we mentioned something uh, else that we do and like, oh, well, I didn't know you did that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, ah, any opportunity you have to introduce other services and products that you have, you know, via say a pop-up offer like that, take advantage of that so that you can educate your clients on everything that you can do to bring value to them in their marketing. So yeah. gr great, great, uh, great suggestions for your default order page. Um, what about What about tips or ways to optimize, say a custom order page? Yeah. So custom order page, you know, some of you are saying, what do you mean custom order page? I have my sure. order page. So now I need, I need to raise my hand and admit, like we have an order page problem at wow. 
<laughs> now I'll say it, it's really not a problem because it's actually, it's a good thing, but yeah. we have goodness, Craig, when's the last, I, I think we have 138 different order pages in our system. Yeah. I was, I think it's over a hundred now. <laughs> So it is, and you're, you're, you're probably saying, Todd, what, what are you, 138 order, like, don't I just need one order page? And the, and the answer is no, you need multiple order pages. And the way that you'll leverage those, one way is that you're going to create a custom order page for a agent that's special to you. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a large agent that you're trying to land and you're going to create something custom for them. Okay, who doesn't like the word custom? You know, like think of anything that you ever had. I think of like custom suits, you know, a custom home, anything custom, people feel important mm -hmm. because it's for them. Like right. you took the time to create this for them. And I can tell you that that immediately does something for them psychologically. And, and you should let them know like, oh no, I'm going to create this custom order page just for you. We have some, we have some agents that come in and they say, you know, I, I really like to order the photo video and then I do the social product and the drone. And I like to order that on mine, but I have to, you know, I have to click a couple products, you know, to get it because we might not have that bundle of items on the order mm -hmm. page. Well, that's super simple. All I have to do is I have to go in and I create a new order page for them and I create that custom bundle for them. And, and then every time they come to their order page, they just have to click that button. Okay. So now what, what did we do in that case? You know, let's think about the psychological, psychological aspect of that. Well, one, we listen to our client. They came and they had a need and they said, can you make this easier for me? But the cool thing that they also did is they said, can you help me spend more money with you easier? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, think, of, think about that. If you can bundle four, four services together and you put that on their custom order page and they order every time, what happens if they, on some of their orders, if they didn't have the custom order page, what happens if they just got lazy? They're like, oh, or they forgot to add on drone. Mm -hmm. Think about right now, if you added on drone to every one of your appointments over the course of a year, what would that do for your business? Oh, geez. You know, you yeah. can do, you can do the math literally right now. You know, if you shoot a thousand appointments a year, I'll use easy math because it's Friday and my brain's not working the greatest. <laughs> if you shoot a thousand appointments a year and you charge a hundred bucks for a drone. Okay. That's one hundred thousand dollars. My my math's right. A hundred thousand dollars. I don't do math in my head very yeah, just well. Add the zeros. A thousand, a hundred, yeah. hundred thousand. And I think the reason why is because it, I did the math in my head real quick, and I was like, wait a minute. I was, is it ten thousand? Is a no? It's a hundred thousand. Like, yeah. whoa, game changer. Like, oh, yeah. I just found a hundred thousand dollars. Like, oh, where'd I put that at? Oh, you just left it on your order pay. You know, <laughs> like a hundred thousand dollars. What would a hundred thousand dollars do for you all out there a year? Jeez. What would that allow you to do? You know, could you buy your first house? Could you decide that you're going to get married? Could you um, expand your business? Could you hire someone? Could you go to a different city with, you know, and expand? It's crazy. It's super simple. Okay. So let me get back. I, I'm getting a little passionate here about like, I want you all to make an extra hundred grand next year. Like it's, it's, it really, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy. So, okay, let's go back two steps and let's think about this custom order page for an agent. So you have an agent you're trying to win over, or you're trying to make it easy for them to spend more money. Here's some more tips. So when you build their order page, give it their name. Okay. Just name it them. Or their company, if it's if it's for or their team, okay, that makes them feel great. What's better than going to the Todd Kivimaki order page? Like I go to that thing, I'm like, bam, that's my order page. I'm proud <laughs> of it. I, I like what's on there, you know, as yeah. a client. Number two, make sure when you are naming their bundle of services. So they just told you they like to always order four services. Give it some marketing name for them. You know, Debbie's luxury package. You know. Sue's special bundle, give it their name and make them feel special about it. 
Uh, thirdly, when you create an image for it, put their logo on that image. Again, mm. make it feel more like them because people who connect with that, th when they have that connection, they, they're going to continue to order that, spend more money with you. And the other thing they're going to do is they're going to tell other people how much they love you. Or they love you. Right. You know, like, oh, he did this custom thing for me. And it, it's great. You, it, something just popped in my head when you said, you know, they put the, put their logo on it. They can take that then and put that in their own marketing to put in their listing presentation to potential new, you know, sellers and clients and say, hey, I have this, you know, custom bundle that I do for my clients. And they can mm -hmm. take that image and, sit, you know, go through the photos, the cinematic walkthrough video tour, the aerial in, in a, and present this as a package to their their prospective client, you're helping them mm -hmm. earn more business by just giving them a simple custom order page and bundle. Yeah, that, that's so fabulous. And then when you do that, you now have become a partner of theirs. So right. you're getting stickier with them. So when the next photographer down the road calls and says, Hey, do you want to try my free shoot? Or when they Instagram message them, I know y'all do. I know that Instagram is popular right now with this method of, of spamming everybody, but I won't go into that, um, <laughs> for free shoots. If you have a custom order page with them in a relationship where they're selling your services and selling this special bundle, again, where they're spending more money with you, they're not going to take the offer of the free shoot or the $50 off because you are part of their process. That's how right. you build relationships. How, that's how you get sticky with people. And that's how you keep them as a client. Yeah, man, good stuff. So lastly, just a few things to, to wrap up on, on customizing this order page for one of your special clients. Um, after you do that, make it feel like them, make it look like them and sound like them. And then just go in and make sure that you assign it to them. So you want to make sure that they use it every time. Uh, inside of Spiro, you just go to the agent and you link their special order page to their name. So if they ever go just to your default order page, it will redirect them once they log into their special order page. Because you want to make sure they use it mm -hmm. and they know how to use it after you've created it for them. Okay, so the, the custom order pages for agents, uh, such an awesome idea. And yeah, a great way to really cater individually to the realtors that you're working with. But Todd, what about, um, what if you have a larger deal that you're trying to put together for, say, a brokerage? Yes, you're speaking my language, Craig. I mean, I think you just teed that one up for me to swing as hard as I could because we've talked about this many times. Brokerage oh. deals are the way that we at WOW have grown exponentially. You know, we just signed one about a month ago, and not only are they one of the largest brokerages in one of our major cities, but they have offices in three of our two or three other of our locations. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, by the way, can you service this area in that city? It's like, yes. Yes. So, <laughs> yes, please. Oh, yes. We, we'd love to help you out and sell more to every other city that we didn't even know you were in. Like, you know, it's, it's a no brainer. So, again, go back. We have podcasts on that. Listen to that. This is probably the thing that I'm most, pass most passionate about mm -hmm. because it works. It just simply works. So, what are some things to think about? So make, again, make it feel like their own. So if it's a Cobalt Banker order page, a Remax, an EXP, whatever it is, name it that order page. Make it feel like them. Make them feel special to use it. Um, name the bundles, something that has to do with the company. Or maybe the a manager or the broker in charge has some services that they like. Name it that bundle, you know, name hmm. it. Um, you know, the, the broker's name bundle and go, people go to that and they say, oh, there's the broker of the company. Like this is his or her bundle. Oh, I'm going to give it a try. Or another thing is one thing that Cobalt Bankers do is, and, and other companies do this, but they have their global luxury line. Okay. Mm -hmm. So get permission that you can, you can call it the global luxury package, but talk to their marketing department and be like, what do you think would be great to have in a package that really caters to the properties that are in the global luxury designation. Throw all those services in there, 
put mm-hmm. the global luxury logo on it and call it that, you know, it's a black, they, they use it's, it's, it's black logoed um, instead of the blue cobalt banker, but make it feel like the company, because the thing that is happening every day at these offices is the managers, the brokers, the owners are pitching and telling why global luxury is important. Maybe their relocation department has a suggested package for relocation um, clients. Mm -hmm. whatever it is, but use their lingo because you're going to connect in with what their management team is preaching to the agents every single day. And it just connects and it feels natural on your order page. Good stuff. Easy way to connect with brokerages. It is. It is. I have one more tip, Craig, and this um, this is one that will help you sell more is talk to the broker when you're building these order pages about the importance of leaving certain services off the order page. Okay. You're all probably saying, what, what do you mean? Like, am I gonna, right. not going to sell something? So let me give you the example of what I'm thinking of. We at WOW stress the importance of, of having photo and minimally video at every appointment. We just, right. we believe in the importance of it. We see how it helps agents stand out. Brokers understand that of, hey, if I can get all of my agents to do a video, that's going to help their brand. That's going to help my brand. That's going to help our SEO. And oh, by the way, that's going to help my recruitment department recruit more agents in. So talk to them about the idea of not offering photos only. Hmm just leaving it off. Like they can't order photos only with you. Um, that has worked very well for us over the years because brokers go, no, I, I understand the importance of doing photos and video and just set the floor. Right. I, you know, Craig, I, I know this is probably making some of our listeners like very nervous out there. Be like, oh my goodness, how can I not offer just photo package? Yeah, photo. this is, and I know this is making some of you sweat out there. But I'm telling you, when you have the broker behind you and they understand the importance of doing photo and video, or maybe it's just photo and floor plan, it's photo and anything. Right. Again, because we want you to sell more, not just because I want you to make more money and I want you to do more services, because you'll serve your clients better when they have more marketing items. So discuss that with the broker talk to them again, the language that's worked for me is say, you know, let's really raise the floor of your marketing across all of the agents. And they'll understand what that means. You know, everybody gets better together. And if everybody's marketing better, it helps everybody. And finally, just make sure you go into your system and attach the company order page to the company record. And then that will ensure mm-hmm. that any agent that's assigned to that company will actually get redirected to the company order page when they come to order. Yeah. Easy, easy way to set up company order pages uh, in addition to individual agent order pages. All right. So we've talked about your default order page. We've talked about custom order pages. Is there a third type of order page that we could leverage to help our business and to serve our clients better? Yeah, Craig, this is a fun one. So this is a special offer order page. So this is, say, a promotion that you have going on. Like, So say this month in July, you could do a summer promotion. And you're going to go in and you're going to build a new order page. And maybe you just have one bundle of items on that order page. And again, you should be strategic with the name of it, you know, summer promotion, you should make sure people understand what the promotion is, how much they're saving and why to order this bundle. But then this bundle is is a private order page. So what that means is that it's not advertised with any agent, like they can't get to it once they log in, but the way they're gonna get to it is they're gonna visit a direct link. So you're going to build the order page, take the link, and then build a promotion on social media, have a landing page, promote it somewhere, word of mouth, whatever it may be. But basically, you need agents to click to this order page to get the promotion. Again, that's kind of tied into that FOMO, that, that fear of missing out. This is limited time. 
This is not published anywhere else except here. Take advantage of this. Yeah. No, no, it's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it, exactly. So one thing right now in the market, and, and I, I think I have a pretty good overall generalization of what the market looks like, at least in the U.S., but listings are tough to get right now. You know, yeah. have any of you read the latest stats in, in your local brokerage? You know, you're probably seeing what Craig, 15 to 25% down in listings. Yeah. Our local board, the, uh, yeah, the report just came out and yeah, we're down 20% year over year in, in number of new mm -hmm. listings. Yeah. It's crazy. It is. I was just looking at the, um, I'm trying to swipe through my phone here cause I took a screenshot, but realtor.com looked at the number of listings between, um, May of 23 and May of 22. And from last year, to this year as an average over the u.s listings were down almost 22 percent jeez and then they compared may of 22 to may of 19 and listings were down i think it was like 40 percent from though from 19 to 22. so you took a 40 percent dip from 19 to 22 then you took a 22 percent dip from last year to this year Okay. So that's, that's the doom and gloom, Craig. So all of you are out there, you know, we operate on listings. So when listings come in, that's when, that's when we sell to realtors is when they get a listing. Right. So if listings are down 20% for last year, I've got a creative idea for you on how to sell an agent, something who doesn't have a listing. So this goes back. Okay. So you're going to create a custom order page and this is, you're going to then advertise this to agents. Um, and it doesn't matter if they have a listing or not. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to pitch them the idea that even if they don't have a listing, they need to find an agent in their office that has a beautiful listing and they need to get permission from that agent. And they are going to shoot. They, they need to get permission to shoot a video of that listing. Now, some of the agents in our markets are already doing this. This is not going to be that difficult for them to, to, to get permission for. So what they do is they actually go to that listing and they hire you to shoot them doing. And probably the easiest and the best is that you do a vertical video of them and they're in the video, either speaking in the video or maybe they're just walking through featuring items and featuring uh, features. That's featuring features. That doesn't work. Craig. That's a lot of <laughs> but featuring the highlights of the home. And then that agent, now remember that agent does not have that listing. They're just, they're looking for buyers. So they're going to go put that video and they're going to say, check out the beautiful listing. And they're going to put the address. Uh, do you know anybody who wants to buy it? And then they're going to post that listing on all their social media. And then what that does for them is that puts them relevant on social media in a property that they can sell, but also they're in the video, their face is their brand. So they are advertising their brand to hopefully get more listings from mm. that video. And what listing agent is going to say no to that? I and mean, that's additional marketing for their listing for their seller, even if they're not your current client, they're going to love that. Ex Exactly. Exactly. So I thought that was a neat idea. And again, that wasn't my idea. Some of our clients and some of our areas are already doing that. And I thought I'd just share it with you guys, but that's a great way that when you talk to someone and someone's excited about your services, but they say, Oh, I'll try it when I get a listing. Well, Craig, when could that be? Hmm. Yeah. You know, is that 30 days from now? Is that 60 days from now? Is that night? Yeah. In 60 days, do they even remember who you are? So that's <laughs> right. a great, that's a nice mechanism just to say, Oh, no problem. You could, why don't you feature a beautiful home of an agent in your office and we'll put you in the video and we'll let you highlight all of the features of the home. And then we'll help you get it on social media so that you can really grow your presence. Remember your face is your brand. I want to help you get out there and I want your face to be out there on everybody's, you know, device so that when they think of buying or selling a home, they call you. Mm. Great creative idea. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, again, it wasn't mine. I just stole it. I'm not that yeah. smart of an individual. I just thought I'd pass it along. <laughs> I, there's, I have a friend that uh, 
will share witty things and, and they'll, you know, you make the comment, Hey, I'm going to steal that from you. And, and their response is always, well, if you've stolen it from me, you've stolen it twice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they stole it from someone else. Anyway, good ideas yeah. to, to share with others. All right. Awesome. So great ways to leverage your order page, um, to, to serve your clients better, to increase your business, to scale things, even in a market that, uh, where, where listings are down. So, Thanks for those tips. Hopefully you can get some uh, some benefit out of what Todd shared today. Um, if you have some other ideas on great ways to, to leverage your order pages, feel free to leave a comment. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment or send us uh, send us a comment at hello at Spiro.media and we'll we'll share those ideas on a future podcast. I I mean we're we're here to yeah. help each other, right? Yeah. So for sure, this is this is a community of us, and yeah. uh, we're we're we always love feedback and questions from all of our listeners. Okay, another great week on this podcast. Thank you for taking the time to listen. And again, we just want to encourage you. We love the comments, we love the feedback. So drop us a line, hello at Spiro.media, or again, leave a comment on the YouTube channel and and on this episode. We'd we'd love to hear from you. Um, if you are watching the podcast on YouTube, don't forget you can also listen to it. Maybe you're out shooting and you need something to listen to in between shoots. You can get the audio podcast on any of the major audio podcasts podcast platforms out there. Uh, and conversely, if you're listening to it, but you have some time in the office, you got time to look at a screen, check out the podcast, the video version uh, on YouTube at Spiro Podcast. It took me a minute to uh, remember what that was. So anyway, at Spiro Podcast, it is Friday. I need some coffee, Todd. It's just <laughs> something. <laughs> it's one of those ready for the, the holiday weekend, right? Um, sure. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So thank you again so much. Feel free to uh, to like this. If you got a benefit out of this podcast, be sure to like it uh, on YouTube. If there's somebody else that you know could benefit from this, please share it with them and make sure that you subscribe as well. The benefit is to you because then you get notification of when a new podcast drops uh, so that you don't miss out on, on any, you know, any information that might benefit your business. So thank you for joining us. We're just going to, again, say, you know, going into this 4th of July weekend, this Independence Day weekend here in the U.S., um, we are just grateful for our freedoms. Be grateful for the blessings in your life. Make sure you take a breath. Have a great weekend. Thank you for joining us for the Spiro Podcast, Managing Your Real Estate Photography and Videography Business. This is a production of Spiro and WOW Video Tours. You can find out more about Spiro's real estate media business management software at our website, spiro.media.